What up dudes? Hello, Jason here. I have walked to the park and I haven't really moved. I'm just kind of sat on this wall and I'm enjoying the sun. It's actually very warm today, about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect. 60 to 70 is just ideal. Anything above that is just it's hot. <laughs> but I like hot. I am I can't wait. I know that in like a month's time it's gonna be so hot here. And I'm just gonna be at the beach every day. And I'm so ready for it. I miss swimming, swimming in the ocean. I haven't done it at all. In like over a year now. If you are long-time viewers of the channel, on my main channel, uh, I'll link it down below. On my main channel I made a video. I don't remember what it was called, but it was a video about swimming in the ocean for 30 days straight. It was when I was in California living in my car. I would go to the beach and swim every day, um, no matter how warm or how cold it was, what time of day it was. I think 9, 10 in the morning and then sunset. Those are the two best times to swim in the ocean. I didn't do much sunrise and swimming, but sunset's really nice because you could be like on the horizon watching the sun dip below. I'll for sure get back into swimming. I can't wait. I'm just waiting for it to heat up a bit more. It's so strange living in a city that has no tourists at the moment. I don't feel like a tourist so much. I feel like a, a beginner, a newcomer, someone who hasn't really learned the way yet. That's what I feel like. I don't feel like a tourist here. Something that I know that I need is a BMX. I need a bike again. When you have a bike in a city, it's like a cheat code. You can just go as fast as you want, and you go as far as you want, and you don't really get tired from it. And I just see everyone going around on their motorized electric scooters and like, bikes and stuff and it just looks so fun. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I basically spent my whole day taking my car somewhere else because I couldn't park it in my house. And then today I found a parking spot like 15 minutes away from my house. So next time I go to the beach, I'm bringing my car back over here. Today's my nine year anniversary on YouTube. How crazy is that? I guess when you're watching this yesterday was the day. It's pretty mad. Pretty mad. I haven't finished the main channel video. Well, I haven't even started the main channel video yet about it. That's something I've got to work on when I get home. But I knew today was going to be beautiful, so I wanted to get out and enjoy it as much of the sun as I could. Because I've been lacking. Like, now that I'm here, there's no excuses. I need to be outside as much as possible. That's why I like to vlog outside, because then technically I am earning money outside, which is the dream. Like daily vlogging it doesn't pay well. In June when I did this last time, daily vlog for a whole month, I got to about half a million views in that month. That that earned me around five hundred dollars. Um, so just some, some transparency. I got lucky that month that some of the videos did really well. But I know that when I'm consistent with YouTube, money flows. You know? I don't chase views, I just chase productivity. So I do whatever I can to put myself in a position where I can produce as much as possible. And then I know that it will resonate with some people and then money comes afterwards. You know, it's just a byproduct. It's not something that I chase. Some giant glass house here. I'm not really sure what it is. There's no plants inside. Got a tiny bit of cloud cover over there. There's a lot of chemtrailing going on, but it doesn't really stay. Ah. So, another day of not doing much. When I try to fix my sleeping pattern, I just make it worse. I think I need to stop trying. I think I just need to tire myself out, which is what I try to do every day. I try to walk enough so that I'm physically exhausted and I can just sleep. But as soon as I get home, it's like I have to work on tech. So I'm just staring at screens until I go to sleep, which is screwing up my circadian rhythm. Is that what it's called? The unnatural light makes you think that it's still daytime. That's why it's so hard to sleep. I found some carrot juice. <laughs> Been on my Airbnb for two weeks, which means I have two weeks left before I'm essentially homeless again. Everything that I need to make money is here, minus the crystals. The crystals haven't arrived yet. I'm still having some issues with crystals. Which basically means I haven't actually made any money since I've arrived in Spain, which is worrying. The first week that I was here, I was really 
panicked, I suppose, because I knew that if I didn't act fast, I'm going to be homeless again. Just thinking about it all the time was making me anxious, stressed. There's no reason to be stressed, especially when you're when, when I'm a creative person. Stress doesn't force creativity; it just makes it worse. You, you, you lack creativity. Then. So then the second week, I stopped worrying and had a much better time living. It's nice uh, to be in a position where I'm earning enough so that I don't have to worry. Because at the moment, it's all very unknown whether or not I can survive February. Because <laughs> it costs me so much to come down here. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. So I've just been thinking about this past nine years, what I've done, what I've actually accomplished in life. It's hard to say what I've accomplished. Maybe I've matured a bit more. Maybe I'm better at speaking. I think I, I choose my friends wisely now. I have a very good judge of character because I've come across many characters in this game. But that's also isolated me more. If I don't find people that I vibe with, I don't hang out with anyone. What YouTube has done has made me more isolated, but happier with my isolation. Does any of that make sense? Am I making any sense today? It's past nine years, I've definitely learned to care less. If you watched any of my old videos, the first three years of making videos, I cared a lot about what people thought, especially with my looks and my character. I tried to be as funny as possible, although most of the time I didn't feel funny. And I obviously groomed myself a lot. I, I made sure my hair, makeup was all perfect all the time. And then the six years after that, I've started to care less to the point where I'm at now, where I just wear all black because I'm trying to become a shadow person. And I obviously have dreadlocks, which requires zero maintenance, and it's fantastic. And then obviously the beard. I don't know what the beard's doing. I have no idea. I know what I want to do with the beard. I want to bleach it and dye it blue, but I haven't done it yet. I think about shaving it a lot, but then it's just going to grow back. So what's the point? I'm allowing my body to do what it wants to do. I'm not restricting it. These years online, being called every everything you can imagine, all the best and worst things people can make with their mouths, the sounds that they can make with their mouths, people have said to me. And it's made me numb to kind of compliments, but also hatred. It's hard to block out one or the other. If you block out what people say to you, it just blankets everything. So when people say really nice things to me, I feel it in my heart but not the way that I should, because I'm just kind of numb to it. That doesn't mean don't say anything nice to me ever again, because I do really like people saying nice things to me, but I've just, I've had, you guys have probably seen, I've had some of the most horrible hate comments, hate videos, like people are really mean online. But because of that, I care zero amounts about what people have to say about me. I'm not here to please anyone. I'm here to enjoy this game that we're experiencing. So whatever people's, people's comments are, remarks are about me, don't care. All the hate videos people made about me, I've never reacted to one of them. I, haven't, I don't even watch them. So, I know people have horrible things to say. Like, people that project hatred onto people are generally ignoring the internal work they need to do on themselves, and it's just them projecting. So I, I kind of empathize with them because I know that they are, they are hurting if they are projecting hurt. Does that make sense? I definitely care about people a lot more than I did. <laughs> when I was 19 and I started my YouTube channel, I didn't really care about people. I kind of just care about myself. Very egotistical. I liked having friends, but that's just because I was very bored and I needed people to hang out with. Again, it's very ego egotistical. Ego driven. But yeah, nine years later, I'm not perfect by any means. I'm not even close. I'm just existing, you know? I'm trying to try my best. I'm trying my best. I'm gonna go home. Alright, I'm back home. Um, now I'm getting to work on the, the main channel video. So I have a rough idea of how I want it to be. I think I'm going to have to call on the Magic Mushies. So we're going to log into Discord and ask them for some help with this one. Alright, the message has gone out. Let's see if the people people help. help. I have been summoned. 
That was so quick. Mars Rover? Wait, I can see one of you. <laughs> Hello. Hi! Weird. My thing is angled really weird because I'm filming the look. Right, okay, so today is my nine years on YouTube, posting on the main channel. The first video I posted, I talked about the reason I started YouTube is because I didn't have any friends at all. Zero. So I wanted to yeah. put myself out there online to kind of attract friends. Right, that was the whole, the whole point of starting YouTube. So I wanted to gather, like, clips of all the, f like, real friends that I made along the journey. So... All of them? Not all of them. <laughs> It's like the, yeah. the prominent ones, the ones that like people would remember, like the ones that stood out, the ones that were there for a long time. How is your relation with the people you used to live with, like, uh, you know, uh, um, I haven't spoken to any of them in six years. Yeah, so, but those... I remember them, like, that was a big part of, like, uh, I know, I, I know. That's, that's the issue I'm dealing with. It's like, do I put those people in the video? Because they're probably not going to be happy I mean, with me putting them in. Child, people change. So, what do I do then? Do I put them in? Just because they were a huge I part of YouTube. I mean, that's part of your journey. Yeah. Obviously, you have mm. to fit in your friend, uh, the green-haired dude. I'm so bad with names. So green-haired dude? Like Drew? <laughs> stuff. Yeah, Drew, yeah. Oh, Drew. Drew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. he'll be in there, yeah. That's sort of when you start to go down and say a different version of, like, videos. And I started doing loads of drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just looking for, like... Prominent figures that I collabed with, I guess, because that's the reason I grew. So, just had a really long call with my Discord people, the Magic Mushies. We discussed how to structure the video. I'm gonna make it tomorrow. My anniversary was actually on the 13th, so I missed it by a day. <laughs> I thought it was on the 14th for some reason. So yeah, happy anniversary to all of us, everyone that's been here since day one. Let me know in the comments how long you've actually been watching the channel, because it's crazy. For been nine years. I've been speaking to you guys, openly. The first few years of just messing around, you know, and then it got a bit more serious and a bit more real. So what we discussed on the Discord is we discussed the idea of having group calls more often. So anyone can just join in and discuss with us. We should do this, like, we should set, a, set aside a time to do this. I did this before, I, I, set, I set a time each week to have, like, a group call. And everyone was relying on me to actually stick to that schedule and, and managed to miss it and it all fell apart. So, click the link in the description, join the Magic Mushies Discord. Every, let's say, we'll start off with Sundays. So every Sunday, come to the Discord at 8 p.m. Uh, for me. So that'd be 7 p.m. GMT. And just join the chat. Like anyone can join in. And we'll discuss whatever it is you want to discuss. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just talk. Another thing that was discussed is having movie nights. So I would stream a movie then everybody could watch it. Keep that for the future when I have better internet. Right now, my internet's not good enough to do that. But that's another idea, so something fun. So if you're interested, join the Discord. It's gonna get interesting over there. Nine years on YouTube. Let me know in the comments how long you've been watching. You know what, just, just I'll, I'll, I'll call it that. I'll call it that, I'm tired. I'm gonna eat this banana. And I'm gonna edit this and then go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you guys for interacting with these videos. I appreciate the comments. There's like a hundred comments that just came in today that I need to read. So thank you, everyone, for leaving comments. If I don't respond straight away, just know that I'm busy, but I'm, I'm getting to it. I will always get to it. Eat more bananas. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.